continued working on the, the high development environment for Emacs. And today I want to talk about getting LDOC to work and some better integration into Lispy, which is uh, just an amazing module for editing Lispy, Lisp-like code. So the, the main things that I'm going to show today are how we get LDOC to work uh, in Highling and how we get better integration with Lispy in accessing the documentation and the ability to jump to, to symbols. So I talked about how to get help in a previous post, probably the last post, and uh, we talked about integrating org mode and high, high laying pretty easily. And I've combined a bunch of this stuff into a new uh, module I call Mile High, which has the previous OB-high high code and some of the new features that I'll, I'll talk about today. So that allows me, uh, all of this allows me to uh, have a, a simple little high code here. I can execute it in org mode um, as we see fit. We can see how this gets converted into Python, uh, which is sometimes helpful to see how things are converted. So here we just have a regular import statement. We import but last. We have a list of this, of this, and that takes everything but the last element. We can also see the abstract syntax tree representation that Highlane gets uh, compiled to. And so here it is. I don't uh, use this, this kind of thing very much, but it's useful to see how the, the tree gets, gets constructed. All right, so one of the interesting features of, of LDOC is that you can put your cursor here and it will give you down here a little signature of what the arguments ought to be. And so this is the command, these are the arguments, and that's pretty helpful. But we can go to uh, the actual Highlang mode and we can use control two. That will show me the same thing, but right directly above it to make that disappear. And control one actually shows us the usage, the doc string, and a clickable link to get me to where the but last is defined. So if I click on this, it takes me directly to where it's defined in the code, and you can see how it's uh, how it's defined. All right. So not everything works, as you can see here uh, with the list. It's not found, so list is not a function that's defined in uh, in Highling, and my my Highling code doesn't know how to find the help for non-high things just yet. But another feature of Lispy is you can do uh, alt dot, and it will also jump directly to the code in, in question. So these things are pretty helpful when you're trying to learn uh, learn high code and, and figure out what exactly is it doing, what should the syntax of a function be. Uh, this, these things remind you of that. So all of this stuff is kind of cobbled together at this point. Uh, the mile high code has the ob-high integration for org mode. It has the uh, LDOC function and the hook to make that work. And it has some setup for uh, connecting with Lispy. Some things uh, all rely on this code here in the hilp.high file that I wrote, which finds the L, uh, this strings in the file locations for the documentation. And I uh, had to hack on Lispy a little bit to in improve the high support uh, and to get the control one and control two to work uh, in here in Lispy in line, and also some parts of, of le-high for evaluating it. So those things are, are not ready to be integrated in either high or Lispy uh, at this point since they're still pretty experimental. But it's been an interesting uh, piece of work to get it all working and figure it out. There's a couple of things that I learned from it. Uh, one is it'd be nice to add examples to the functions uh, to the doc strings so that it's more obvious you know, what they're supposed to be doing that's mostly for new people that are learning and not so much for, for the developers, but it might be helpful as, as the language grows. I think it would be really good to add de uh, definitions to the build uh, statements because it's not obvious you know, what some of them do or what the syntax should be. And making this uh, discoverable so that we could have LDOC tell us about it would be great. And it's still kind of outstanding to get Python documentation uh, so for example, for list and any of the NumPy, SciPy things that, uh, that are in there. It would be helpful to be able to access that while writing high code uh, rather than switching uh, some kind of mental context into something for Python. So that's basically it for uh, the integration so far. 
there's uh, work to be done, and so far it looks it looks still promising um, to move forward.